Hello guys, welcome back. Where is Bitcoin staying right now? Where are cryptos going? Are we moving sideways? Are we moving up? Or are we crashing? If you haven't already subscribed, drop a comment below and hit the bell and get all your latest news in cryptocurrency. Bitcoin, as we were speaking about yesterday, gave us a pretty big signal when we're looking at the double-sided wicks. Now, when we're having this typically, and we're going to see this, of course, in some of the other graphs that we're going to be going over today, it tends to show you that there's going to be a reversal in the pattern. Uh, even here, you can see red, double wick, it continued down, and green uh, as we're coming in. Now, can we see this come back up? Of course. Uh, but will we touch that 37, 36 support line? Possibly. So sitting at 36,997 is the support, is what I'm calling it as. Uh, that's where we can see where that low really kind of hit. Uh, it could potentially go back up too close to call. If we're looking at the volume of Bitcoin kind of coming in, it's starting to kind of stabilize a little bit instead of the sporadic up and down huge, uh, unlike from here. Uh, now, we had a big pump coming in from the 28th and the 1st of March. Uh, again, it was signaled here with the double wick. It kind of gave us that warning. The same thing's happening, but at least it's small, so I think it could continue going up for the next couple of days. But it could potentially actually fall back down. It's sitting at 38,756 at the time. Uh, the As far as the moving averages are starting to converge back closer together, where we see this double right here, this is where it's really like worrisome. It just kind of, kind of comes in. Uh, even the same, like from January, we had the same and the double. Uh, this huge like selling spree that kind of started kicking off back from October, which we were speaking about, it's actually going to hit back down uh, to around the 30,000s. That was a big warning too. And that was the same double wick that we had back in November that really kicked everything down. Uh, it could potentially go back up in April, of course, depending on everything. And you're going to see this as well, because when we're going to some of the other graphs, we're going to kind of touch base on that. Um, Coinbase is arresting accounts, over 25,000 Russian accounts in Russia. Uh, big thing, it could hurt. There's an executive order hang hanging overhead. Uh, even Binance isn't accepting MasterCard and Visa from Russia, which is really not a good sign because uh, I know a lot of users in Russia actually um, are into crypto. And if Russia does legalize crypto as a tender, it would be really great. I'm sure there's going to be some laws that will adapt for it from there. Uh, but it's a big warning. So if honestly, if um, Russia will take that, it will be a big thing for crypto. Uh, it will push us. I think this is why we're still not completely just falling out of the air. I think a lot of people believe that it will move up. Um, my myself, I think it will continue to grow. But it's still kind of early on February, even when we look in the time frames of last year. Uh, the same thing, July, let's see. Uh, okay. All right, we have April. We kind of had that kind of moving up again. But when we're getting into March 1st, it was down, right? So from between February and March, it was down, and then finally started moving up. Uh, the same thing is starting to do, but just we're already lower. We dipped lower than we were then before. Uh, but it's still overall pretty good things. Ethereum's kind of following along with Bitcoin, kind of starting to move into the upper side of the channel. Uh, moving averages also moving back in. Uh, as well, kind of close back in, kind of following on Bitcoin. Ethereum usually typically comes through, but it is trading at uh, 2,575. Uh, moving back in, double candles again, what we were just speaking about with Bitcoin, a big signal that it was going to reverse. Even the thing for March 2nd, that same kind of candle. Uh, March 1st, that huge double wick uh, was a big thing. Uh, I like to follow those because, again, it kind of gives me an idea of really what's happening. Now, if we're speaking about Matic, we haven't spoke about Matic in a while. It's still moving in a range as well. Uh, it is, we had that double wick here, the same in March, kind of following through that double wick again, and a little smaller wick. It could move up here in the next couple of days. We really want to see it hit a buck sixty soon. Sitting now at a dollar and forty five is what it's trading at today. The moving averages, and this is what I see is starting to get close to really start pumping back up when we're looking at the moving average. Uh, which is a good sign that it's going to start moving in. I love Matic. Matic's a good coin, uh, along with Ethereum. I think we'll see a touch at least probably a buck fifty here in the next couple of weeks, minimum a buck fifty, buck sixty, uh, and that's on the very conservative side. Uh, I would love to see a touch back to two bucks. 
uh, kind of a long ways, but not honestly not too much. If we're looking at like the beginning of February, we had that huge jump from a dollar seventy uh, back to two bucks. So uh, coming in, which is really great. So it, it is possible uh, to kind of come in. So we'll just see where it's at. XRP is also doing the same thing. Had that same double wick, a really ugly double wick. We had that reversal here from the 24th of February, a huge pump, uh, the same double wick, huge pump, right? So it's just showing you that reversal of trends. Uh, the same thing here. You can take it how you want. Uh, but if we're looking to it together, it is going down. Now, uh, Ripple is one of those things that is not a conservative. I've said that like a thousand times already. But it's trading at uh, 72 cents. The last big uh, area we had was like 85, not too far, kind of moving. But it does look, it's starting to consolidate and it could start doing it the same like how it was doing back in January and then it pumped back up. But due to recent events and everything, it just kind of happened, not our way. Looking at the market altogether, uh, for the 24 hour period, we have $1.68, or I'm sorry, 1.68% uh, weekly. I, everything, if we're looking at the daily, is green. Uh, if we're looking for the weekly, it's just red. It's actually very horrible. Uh, but we have Ethereum up by 275, double digits, almost 11% for the weekly. Uh, see, USD coins actually just kind of like neutralized and itself only up by 0 0.08. Uh, XRP down by 5.5 for the weekly, down by almost 2, 1.93 for the 24 hour period. Terra Luna is down by 12.89% and only up by 1.25. Cardano is just getting murdered constantly. Nothing's changed since like September of last year. Solana, 2.14%, down by 13 uh, for the weekly. Uh, if we're looking at AVAX, down by 15 for the week and down by 0.40 of a percent, almost by half a percent for the 24 hour period. Uh, Polygon Matic is up by 2.90 for the day, down by 8 by 14. Uh, if we're coming back down through the, like, the top, or, past the top 25 and uh, we can see some better movement kind of going on so unis like elio we have almost up by five percent for the day down by three for the week uh, i'll go 13.93 for the weekly down by 1.75 uh, so these coins are doing particularly a little bit better uh, than what the other ones are doing uh, theta network is actually up by almost 10% for the daily and down by almost 10%. So still pretty bad. Waves is actually up by a whopping 28.48% for the daily and up by 36.83% for the weekly, doing much, much better. Uh, even Zek is up by 14.22% and 3.51. You heard me say before, uh, when they uh, these coins with the lower market caps uh, as well, these beta coins are typically going to do much, much better. Uh, it's where you can make some money coming in. Uh, nothing, I think, is really too much of a long haul. But if you want to make some fast cash, I think this is it. Uh, so even R Wave is uh, number seventy-seven, right? Up by almost eight uh, percent for the daily, and 0.85 for the weekly. So uh, still much, still pretty good. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe, drop a comment, and I will see you, ladies and gentlemen, next time.